My name is Matt Sadam. I'm the Senior Director of Facilities and Security. I've been here since 2013. We started working on an HVAC project, what, which I sort of termed the Healthy HVAC Project. And what we're doing is doing a, an analysis of all the equipment, making sure it meets all the guidelines, tuning it up if it needs to be tuned up. On the facilities side of the house, we essentially shuttered all the buildings and shut down everything to the absolute minimum. And then when the CDC and the city came out with guidelines, we started working on what do we have to do to get open in the, the new world, right? What's it going to be like? There's like sort of four components to what we're doing with the HVAC system. The HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. One has to do with the filtration. What's the level of filtration? How efficient is it? The second component is how much outdoor air are you bringing in? And that's sort of an interesting component because we have significant needs inside for humidity and temperature, right? Obviously for comfort of the people, but also musical instruments and all the wood finishes and the organ. So those are sort of critical components. We have to meet these, these criteria for uh, humidity and temperature. A third component is how many times is the air changing over in any given space? And the fourth and final is really is just, is all the equipment operating properly? Do all the pieces work right? Or is it doing what it was originally designed to do? So those are the four sort of criteria that we're trying to meet. We've actually already did, we did Verizon Hall in November. The orchestra was coming in to do some recordings and we wanted them to all be safe. So we're moving to the other parts of this building and we will be doing the Academy of Music and the Marion Theater. So there's the cleanliness component too. We started by putting all the hand sanitizer stations all over the place. We also bought a couple of electrostatic sprayers. So there's the whole cleanliness component. And frankly, I think it's gonna drive some written standards and some new ways perhaps of doing cleaning than we have historically done. When I read what was necessary, I'm like, oh yeah, I understand that and we can do these things. We can do these things easily. Easily is a little bit of a misnomer because it takes a lot of effort to get there, but they're not challenging that. It's just getting them all done. We are following or exceeding the guidelines that the CDC is coming out with as far as what interior conditions are supposed to be from an environmental perspective.